Here, we will discuss about removal of metabolic waste like urea through excretory system of our body. The process is called as excretion. How is this urea formed? When amino acids are absorbed into the blood capillaries in the villi in ileum, these capillaries join up to the hepatic portal vein which takes the absorbed food to the liver. In liver, the nitrogenous part from the excess amino acids is converted to urea. Now urea goes into blood plasma. There is the elaborate excretory system which removes the metabolic wastes like urea from the blood. Here are the main parts of this system. A pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, one urinary bladder, the urethra. Kidneys are being shaped and located at the back of the abdomen, either side or spine, behind the intestine. Let's view it longitudinally. It has cortex, medulla and pelvis. What is the kidney made up of? There are thousands of tiny tubules in the kidney called as nephrons. The basic functional unit of the kidney is a nephron. It begins in the cortex, loops down into the medulla, back into the cortex and then goes down through the medulla to the pelvis where it joins with ureters. The nephron has a cup-like structure called Bowman's capsule which encloses a tangle of blood capillaries called glomerulus. The renal artery brings the blood with great pressure here that pushes the small molecules like urea or excess of water and salt from the walls of blood vessels. These molecules move further in the tubular part of the nephron. If still any useful products, they are reabsorbed by the walls of the tubular part and passed to the blood vessels. If you notice, there are blood capillaries in very close proximity to the tubular part of the nephron. By the time it reaches the collecting duct, it is called urine. Urine flows into the ureters and then it is stored in the bladder. When the bladder is full, the urethra opens from where it flows out of the body. A sphincter muscle controls the opening and closing of the bladder.